Hi, this is Terry Gray from Palomar College Academic Technology, and it's easier than ever to embed a YouTube video in a Blackboard 9 content area. I've got Blackboard 9.1 running on my screen, and I'm in the Firefox browser with a couple of tabs open. One open on Blackboard in a workshop that I'm uh, teaching called Using Google Earth, and a YouTube tab where I'm going to get my video from. So let me show you the new, uh, what they're calling the YouTube mashup tool in Blackboard. Now I've got the uh, structure for this course set up, but I want to add a content area to my menu. And I'm just going to call it Basics. Make it available to my users and click Submit. Puts it at the bottom of the list. I'm going to drag it up to this position on the list. Okay, that's basics. That's where I want to be. Let's go to that area. I've got an empty content area now. I'm going to click the drop down on build content, move my cursor over to YouTube video, and click. Okay, and here's the new uh, tool for embedding a video. Notice I can search from here, and if I searched, I would get a number of hits. Let's uh, search on learning Google Earth and type go and pretty soon it comes back with all of these videos uh, that have to do with learning Google Earth and if I see one that I want I could just click select here but uh, for this demonstration I already have a video in mind uh, that I want to use and I have it on a tab uh, at YouTube right now so let me go back to my basics area I don't want to use any of these I just found grab that tool again and now go to my YouTube tab in my browser and this is the video I want to use called Learn Google Earth. In order, uh, in order to embed it, it used to be that you would have to copy the object code and paste that into Blackboard and it was a bit of a complex situation. Some people had trouble doing that. Now it's much easier. Now beneath the video window in Google um, YouTube I click the share button and there is, let me scroll down a little, the URL of this video. I'm going to select it and copy it. Now notice below it there's something called short URL and something called HD URL. You don't need to select either of those. Even if you want to view it in HD you don't select that now. Now let's go back to Blackboard. Click in that search window search box and paste that URL in and click go. And there we are. That's the video that we want. Now notice underneath the video there's a duration, um, the user who uploaded it and when, and a YouTube rating and a YouTube URL. That's all metadata that comes from YouTube and uh, there's something here, the word learn and some other stuff, but let's say that we want to use this video, so let's click the select button. And now we're on a um, page called create mashup item, and the first is the content, the video itself. If I wanted to add some content here, I could a description, I could type it in the visual text box editor. I do not. I'm going to scroll down and come to the mashup options area, and this is the part that I want to show you. There's a new thumbnail view in Blackboard 9 which is far superior to the old embedded player view. I'm going to click the drop down here to see what my choices are though. I can also uh, just have a text link and when the link is clicked the player will be invoked in a little pop-up window. Or I can have the old fully embedded view. But I like the thumbnail view so I'm going to click that and then I have some choices. Do I want to show the YouTube URL? Uh, no, because my students can find it just by clicking the YouTube player window and going to YouTube. Uh, do I want to show the YouTube information? Well, yes I do, because that will include the duration of the video. Students like to know how long something's going to last before they start it. <laughs> okay, uh, looking a little further down this page, you can see I can attach 
other files to this content uh, area, this mashup, if I want. And I can set the display options. Uh, but I don't want to change anything here. I'm just going to click Submit. And there's the thumbnail view. Let me turn off edit mode so you can see it just as students will see it. And I think that's a far superior look to the old look of the fully embedded player. What would happen is people would embed a number of these on a single page and it would get really, really sloppy looking and a lot of scrolling would be involved to find it. Um, right now, in the thumbnail view, if, if the student wants to watch the video, they just click the watch video link. It invokes a player, a nice little window. And they can enlarge this to full screen if they choose. They can get information about this video in the info box. And when they start to play it, they can change its resolution to 720p, for example. Okay, so that's why you do not need to uh, select that HD link when you're back at uh, Google, back at YouTube, because students can just change to it if they want. Okay, now that's really simple, and uh, it looks really good, I think. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm.